Today, we're at the launch of the all new GSX S1000. Well, I say all new, it's not really all new. It's basically a, a, an update for 2021, but Suzuki have really concentrated on the key areas that the old model was lacking. Suspension, the looks, the electronics. Today, we're gonna to be testing this bike on the road, a 40 mile road ride, but also we're taking it up the Harewood Hill Climb. So that's a, a proper hill climb circuit, really tight, really nagery, should be really, really interesting. And we can really see how this bike handles, how flickable it is, if those suspension changes have made the difference that this machine needed. If that sounds interesting, stick around, stay tuned, and Chopsy, roll the intro. So we are at Haywood's hill climb, new GSX S1000s, about to hit the hill climb. The problem today is the weather is meant to start bucketing down about 10 o'clock. So we're meant to have done the hill climb ride this afternoon, but we brought it forward. So the first time we're riding the bikes is directly onto the hill climb. So this bike is basically a bit of a revamp. It's not a brand new model. I did do a little uh, first look at this. So if you haven't seen my little video, first look at the GSX-S. <laughs> That's Jamie. Have a look at the top there. But, you know, this is a revamp for this year. Basically, new styling, new electronics is the biggie. So you've now got a quick shifter and a blipper. There it is. Seems good so far. Quick shifter. Yeah, it seems nice and smooth. That was something the old bike never had. You know, they never had, and there wasn't even any provision to add one. You know, the, the, it just wasn't there. The, the old bike wasn't fully ride by wire. The old bike was actually cable throttle bodies. This bike is now fully ride by wire at the trip at the twist grip. So not even the little module with the grips. It's fully ride by wire at the uh, at the grip. So that means they can give it all the extra stuff for the electronics. It's not got an IMU. So the electronics basically work off speed, uh, gear position, uh, throttle position obviously, and then wheel speed. So depending on the speed of the wheel, so comparing the speed of the back wheel to the front wheel to determine if it's actually spinning. So no IMU, so they're not lean sensitive electronics. Unfortunately, that does mean that you can't isolate wheelie control and traction control. So the wheelie and traction are the same thing. It's a shame, I would have loved to have been able to turn off the wheelie control and leave the traction control on, but there's no IMU. This is gonna be fun. I just hope the rain stays away for a couple of hours so we can get to get, to get a feel for this circuit because this looks absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic little hill climb circuit. Well, that's the end and then this is, is so that's the end of the circuit and then this is the uh, the little service road back to the start again. My biggest criticisms with the old bike really was the suspension. The suspension was a little bit lacking. For this year, you've got 43 millimeter KYB forks, fully adjustable. The biggest complaint from last year's bike was the rear shock. It felt woefully too soft. Here we go, there's another circuit now. Another lap. They've, it's the same shock as last year's bike, but they've changed changed the settings. So it's meant to be a bit firmer. So that's one thing, we'll see how it feels. At the moment it feels okay, you know, just a little meander through here as we follow John Reynolds to get a feel <laughs> for the track. It's got five levels of traction for this year, which is two more than last year's bike. It's got three throttle modes. 
I'll, I'll try and look down in a minute to see what mode this bike is in. This is in the A mode, I thought so. It's, it feels nice, actually. A, another big criticism with the old bike was the fact that it was, you know, it was snatchy. Let's be honest, the old bike was always a little bit snatchy. So when I did my review, I said, yeah, it's a bargain for sort of 10 grand, but then you're going to have to put a power commander on it, you know, maybe an exhaust as well to unlock a bit more power, just to sort out the the snatchy throttle basically seems even in a mode that it's actually quite nice now i think that's been sorted won't really be able to tell to on the road i don't think but i think that's been addressed that would be brilliant if they've sorted out the the snatchy throttle just that alone will be a big a big improvement same brakes as last year so you've got brembo Monoblocks up front. And they're, they're not, they're not, they've not got that much bite to them. They said this at the press review, press uh, launch last night. They said, you know, they're not, they've not got pads in them to make them really aggressive. So you can feel there's, there's no massive amounts of initial bite, which is probably what you want for doing this sort of thing but it'll be nice when we're on the road. Slightly up in power, on my little preview I said it was uh, down on power compared to last year's, it's not. It's got another two brake horsepower peaks, they're very similar, but the, uh, the torque figures are down slightly on peak torque, it's two torques down at the top end, but it's got 10% more torque in the mid-range. So that's where you want it. It's got the torque where you need it, even though it is a little bit down at the top, but it has got a few more brake horsepowers at the top end. Bars feel really wide, a lot of leverage through the bars. A lot of leverage. Oh, forgot about the left over. Lovely how to it. I know, I know. Where's the lap time feature? Huh? Where's the lap time feature on the dash? Oh, coming off. That was a tight left. <laughs> That's quite a tight bend out there, isn't there? I was like, shit! <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Especially the, the left, and you got to go into there. Yeah, that left, I was like, Jesus! This one at the top of the hill is, you can't see it coming up. That nearly had me last lap. Change of direction, nice. Don't like this left hander. Sounds lovely. Despite all that Euro 5 gubbins, it's got a really nice howl to it. That's better. A bit more lever pressure there. Come on, James, can I go? Can I go? Ooh, lost a little burble. So, what else is new for this year? New dash, of course. It has a dash sort of derived from the new GSX-R1000, so it's not TFT, it's an LCD. So, you know, I think even the MT-07 has a TFT these days, but who cares? You know, I'm not, I'm not fussed about TFTs. A lot of the time, the way they're implemented isn't great anyway, so that is a nicely implemented LCD. So I prefer a nicely implemented LCD than a poorly implemented TFT. Nice little lift to the front wheel there. Actually, I mean, considering I'm doing all this in first gear and this bike doesn't have an IMU and I'm on traction level one. It's not half bad. Let's leave it in second and try the torque. See what the like, pulls like on full throttle. Second. <laughs> that left 
bad though. I bet that's caught a few people out. Yeah, I'm in second gear. You can, you don't have to be screaming in first. It's got a reasonable amount of torque. I mean, this is the old engine, you know, with some tuning for Euro 5. Yeah, you can't do much in the way of wheelies, only even on traction level one. Yeah, first impressions, I know this isn't the road, so you can't really compare until you get on the road because I never threw the old one around a little tight nagery track like that. Yeah, this isn't, this is quite tight and nagery for a thousand cc naked, you know, so this isn't really a good test of what you could expect on track because this is a, not your normal track. But I can tell you, it's very quick steering. You know, really, like, it's really this little flip flop here. Side to side, transitions, really good. Suspension seems pretty decent actually, because obviously I'm heavily on the front brake, so there's a lot of the transition of weight. I'm not using the rear brake to coax it round, and actually I'm not thinking oh, the suspension's too soft. Pretty good. I mean, it is very comfortable to ride, even sort of throwing it around here. It's comfortable, it's easy, it doesn't wear you out. I think for that tight nagery stuff, B throttle response, no snatchiness. You know, even when you've got it high in the rev range, on and off the throttle, like you are around those corners. There is no snatch. So that's fantastic they've sorted that. And that was the biggest Achilles heel of this bike since it was released. The snatchy throttle. They never fixed it with the old model. That is now fixed. That's a big tick in the box. That because I couldn't live with the snatchy throttle of the old bike. So now it's sorted. If I bought the old one, I'd had to go and splash that on the power commander. Blah blah blah. Now it's good to go. From the crate, it's good to go. Oh, foot pegs. Jeez. Scared me. <laughs> the best thing about this bike, it's a great package. You know, Suzuki are not competing with the Super Nakeds. They're not competing. It's not what this bike is about. This bike is about accessible performance. At a, you know, a brilliant price, price point, and this bike only costs £11,000 in the UK. £11,000 with a quick shifter, blipper, you know, the electronics package. Yes, it doesn't have an IMU, it doesn't have separate wheelie control, but do you really need that? Unless you're going to be popping wheelies everywhere, <laughs> you know, you don't really need that. The traction control is handling this tight Nagery circuit. You know, so £11,000 for a bike with 150 over, 150 horsepower is not to be sniffled at. And all Suzuki's come with a three year warranty as well. So you've got three year blooming manufacturer's warranty. I mean, it's a straight four, so they take a little while to spool up, so below sort of 6,000. It's got a decent amount of punch, but you know, coming out of those corners, you need to be a first gear, I mean, it's not punchy like a, a V4 or a V-twin, you know, that's not what straight fours are about. It's got that smooth, progressive power, and it's got enough bottom end. It's got enough bottom end. It seems they've geared this nicely. I like it. Suzuki know this isn't a super naked. They know they're not competing against, you know, the Street Fighter, the Tuono with this. Now those bikes are five, six, seven thousand pound more expensive than this. Nine thousand pound more expensive than this in some circumstances. So you know they're not competing with that. These are competing more with your CB thousand Rs, 
Um, the, the S1000R, maybe not even that, because that's a little bit more power. The price point is a couple of thousand pound more expensive. So, yeah, they're not competing with those bikes. This is affordable performance, and it really ticks that box. Gonna have a go with uh, following John Reynolds now. He, did, he just did a lap behind me. He said, yeah, tidy up on a couple of corners, but actually not too bad, so I'm going to take that. All right, this is where I try and keep up with John Reynolds. Me going as fast as I can. John Reynolds pulling around. He's very smooth, very, very smooth. very smooth I'm not as smooth as that because I'm big you know I'm 18 and a half stone and I transition my weight around you have to be very careful not to unsettle the bike being a big fatty that's the only bit of circuit where I think first could be preferable well that's foot pegs need to shift a bit more weight out Ground clearance on this sort of thing. Yeah, you can carry a lot of speed there, can't you? And then break it down for that one. Yeah, that's, that's got me quick around that end bit. Lovely job, thank you. Really nice. Absolutely fantastic. That's enough of that. Let's get it on the road. So that is the hill climb done. We stayed dry, we managed to do... Well, I spent a good 40 minutes out there. Um, now we're doing on the road ride, quick change, <laughs> I've been on the catwalk, got changed into my road gear, we've got Mossy, we've got username Kate over there, we've got uh, Toad from Visor Down, we've got the crew, let's see how she rides on the road, we know she rides on a hill climb and a tight nadgery circuit, let's take her around Yorkshire. We're up in uh, North Yorkshire. North Yorkshire? Harrogate, North Yorkshire? Sorry, I'm from uh, the south. <laughs> I'm from down near Portsmouth, so this is North North. And, and driving up here yesterday, even when you get to Harrogate, it's still on the motorways, the North, straight up. When do you get to the North? How far up do you have to be to be in the North? Is it when you hit the wall? Is it then you got across the wall into Wildlings territory? I don't know, how, when does those the north signs finish on the motorway? How far north do you have to go? We're already in Yorkshire. We're already in God's country. How much further? So now we have the 70 mile road ride. I know for a fact it's going to start raining at some point. So we'll get a chance to test out those new Sports Max Dunlop tyres in the wet in a minute. Or hopefully not in a minute. Hopefully we're going to get a good hour or so in the dry. Flipper, smooth, smooth as butter. One thing it is missing is cruise control, but because you are quite upright, you know, you've not got weight on your wrist to try and alleviate, you know, I can forgive the no cruise control. It would have been nice to have cruise control, let's be honest. It's a lovely, it's lovely on a road bike, and this is what this bike is, you know. This is a road bike. I was lucky enough to ride the old bike. You know, I had it for a couple of weeks. I think it was about four months ago now. A couple of weeks, about four months ago, and I really liked it. You know, I, I do have a soft spot for Suzuki. I can't lie. I love them. I just like the way they're, mechanically, they're always so beautiful. You know, the gearboxes are lovely. The suspension's well set up, as I mentioned. You know, they're lovely bikes to ride. Kate is flicking some shit at me. Shit flinger. I didn't know Kate was into scatting. Sounds lovely. It's louder than the S1000R. Even with the S1000R with the, you know, the, the, the road legal Akropovich, this is louder. I don't think it's coming from the exhaust. The sound is coming from the induction rod. What they've done, they've actually changed the airbox on this. They've made the outer shell of the airbox 
stiffer so they can remove some of the internal supports so internally the airbox is just open now rather than having the internal supports and it really has got a lovely roar a lovely airbox roar yeah that, that's nice it sounds louder than the s1000r the s1000r didn't have as much of an induction noise you had all the noise on that was coming from the exhaust yeah, it's a very quiet bike this is more a bit more raucous in standard form raucous that brake bite feels fine on the road around that tight nadgery hill climb it felt like i needed a bit more bite but on the road yeah feel perfect yeah i can tell you it's very similar to the old bike riding it you know the, the riding position even though they the bars are, they can tell the bars are wider the bars are wider without question they're a little bit closer to you but i can't you know the foot position feels the same the knee angle it feels very very similar to ride than the old bike which is no bad thing was, that's no bad thing at all the throttle response is fixed you've got more electronics you've got a quick shift and a blipper which is a fantastic addition to the bike you know that's what it was really missing to it gives you such a a more sporty ride having a quick shift and blipper it really does so i'm a big fan it's now got its standard so eleven thousand pounds it's a great great bike for eleven thousand pounds look at these roads these are it's, uh, there's going to be some brilliant roads around here. Absolutely fantastic. Little lanes around the around Yorkshire. Oh, look at this! This would have been brilliant. Car in the way. Stretch of road. Yeah, it's very easy to ride. It's this. <laughs> that time's up. It's a very, very easy bike to ride. Look at the moors, this is the Yorkshire moors ladies and gents. What's that pub called? The Black Sheep? What's the pub called in the American Werewolf? Where's this? this is American Werewolf. American Werewolf in London, wherever it's called. This is where the werewolves live, on the Yorkshire moors. Yep, it's raining. We're getting wet. What a shame. Why do I always get the Suzuki launches with the crap weather? All the time. I'm going to be a squelching boots at this rate. It's a wetty, it's a wetty. Let's cut back to the, uh, cut back to HQ. So we're back at the Harewood Hill climb. We have sort of aborted, it was so much rain, there was no choice, we had to come back. So I couldn't record and, and do a final follow up on the bike. But it's been really a really interesting day riding this bike today. Um, I think the, the main thing is Azuki have, they have updated it, they have done enough. The suspension changes, have made a big difference to how the bike performs. The electronics have also taken it another step. Before it was electronics, you know, it was lacking. It had no quick shifter, it had no blipper. Quick shift, quick shift and blipper worked perfectly. Can it compete with the likes of the new S1000R? I think the thing with the GSX-S, it's at the right price point. This bike is 11,000 pounds on the road. The S1000R is 14,000 for the equivalent spec. So this is £3,000 cheaper than the S1000R and it's not £3,000 less of a bike. It's a little bit more comfortable than the S1000R. The S1000R puts a little bit more weight on your wrist. This is definitely more comfortable, more road focused. This perhaps wouldn't be quite as good as the S1000R on track, but as a road bike for £11,000, you really can't go far wrong with this. So there we are. Thanks so much for watching, as always, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers. This is power level one, which is full power. <laughs> Look at these roads. Look at that one.
I could do that all day. What have you done here? <laughs> I told you I was scared back there. I've never dropped a bike before in my life. Oh! Backfire! That's it! That's it! <laughs> Listen to this. 